How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Amatsutsumi. Uh, it's Sunday now. Uh, things are lovely and all. Totally no complications here in the Oribe family. Uh, totally nothing going on at all. That's a damn lie. Now, there's there's a lot of complications going on in this small-ass family. Uh, Kokoro is confused because uh, Makoto is pretending to be a part of the family, uh, but is also... I guess kind of leading her on in a way through Kododama and also just by existing. Azuki, the mother, is not doing so well health-wise and I don't know if there's anything we can do to really help out with that. It's kind of complicated when it comes to that and it's leading to a conflict in Bakoto which is pretty interesting to see. It's really uh, showing his development ever since we started here. He is becoming more of a uh, not necessarily a vocal character but is expressive a little bit more. Now it's Sunday. Today it's my turn to mind the cafe, and I've been very busy handling customers. Incidentally, Kokoro is out at a friend's house. Don't worry about it, Mom. You don't have to do anything, just rest. I reassure her while cleaning up the tables. Breakfast hours have just ended, and there's a little time before we open the lunch menu. Is that how it works? I have no idea what you're talking about, but did you mean mommy? <laughs> Azuki-san is joking around as usual, but she looks a little pale. She's definitely not her usual self. If you're not feeling up to it, I can go and rest in your room, or you can go and rest in your room whenever you like. <laughs> now we'll do the resting for you. Right. She seems to be in a good mood, at least. But just in case. Mom, if you're pushing yourself too hard, take a rest in your room or go to the hospital. Well, there we go. We just got our answer. She quickly leaves and goes back to her room. So she was pushing herself after all. Unbelievable. But I'm not one to talk since I just volunteered to manage the cafe all by myself for the rest of the day. I'll need to be quick on my feet to get through lunchtime. I'll close up shop in the afternoon as Azuki-san suggested, but it would be a waste to turn away lunchtime customers. We already made a whole bunch of curry and steamed rice already, so I hope I can sell it all. Well, I can always use my Kododama to make them order whatever I want. But is that morally correct? The first lunch customer comes through the door. Welcome, the only thing on the menu right now is curry. That works. You know what, it is morally correct. People should eat more curry. Now lunch is over and I've finished cleaning up the cafe. I dust off my hands and step outside. Alright, that should do it. I flip the sign on the door from open to closed. Azuki-san is already set off for the hospital. And Kokoro is still out, so I actually have some time to myself now. What should I do now? I could just go do something by myself, but it would be more fun if I had someone to talk to. Let's see, I know Hotaru, Koichi, Kyoko, and a few people in the neighborhood. Other than the tourists, most of our customers are regulars, so I've become acquainted with a few of them. I take out my cell phone and look through my address book. I hung out with Kyoko just the other day, and she's probably busy preparing the lanterns for the upcoming ceremony at the lake. Today, it'll have to be Koichi or... Wait, I don't have Koichi's phone number. I guess I never asked him for it. I don't know where he lives either, so I can't go looking for him. I should learn to use my phone properly like everyone else does. And that leaves Hotaru, even though we just met yesterday. I find her name in my contacts and press the call button. The phone rings, but she doesn't pick up. Damn it. I really wanted to hang out with her. That would have been fun. I figure she must be busy. And I'm about to hang up when suddenly the ringing stops. Uh-oh. Hello, Hotaru. Her, uh, your voice sounds strange. What's wrong? About 3 p.m., I think. 
Why were you sleeping in the middle of the day? I mean, I do that all the fucking time. It's not a good thing, but I do it. Ah, sorry, I, uh, or I'm sorry, I disturbed you. Cope? Her voice barely a whisper. Hotaru seems even more lifeless than Azuki san did this morning. From what I can hear over the phone, it's too quiet wherever she is. Hotaru, what are you doing and where are you? The chapel? I frown, not expecting that answer. Explains why she's wearing her uniform in that CG. Or that little cutout CG. Hotaru, are you alright? Appreciate the honesty. She replies calmly. What happened? I shiver. While she sounds calm, I can tell she's in a very bad place right now. As we talk, I start walking toward the school. If Hotaru needs my help, I want to be there for her. You seem fine when I was talking to you yesterday. Totally understandable. Absolutely understandable. Humans are social creatures. We basically live and breathe through socialization with other people. If we're alone for too long, it kind of hinders us. She laughs as if mocking herself. Anyway, I'm coming to the chapel now. I stop in my tracks at her quiet command. She denies me again. Fucking screw it. Let's, let's hurt us. 100%. You know, let, let's take it all in. What on earth happened, Hotaru? <laughs> she has no intention of answering. I'm coming. <laughs> I start walking again. I'll be right there, so stay where you are. <laughs> Worthy the inconsiderate one. I smile at her indignant words. Unfortunately for you, I don't have a whole lot of common sense. I want to talk to you face to face, so just wait a bit. I'm still not used to phone conversations, where you only hear someone's voice and can't see their face. I hang up and begin to walk faster. Then I break into a run. I look up at the sky. It's a deep blue summer sky, wider than the sky of any other season. My body had adapted to indoor air conditioning, so I quickly begin to sweat like a like a horse. But the wind on my sweat-soaked clothes feels nice. It's summer. Is this what summer should feel like? After about 15 minutes of running, I reach the school gates. I'm breathing harder than usual, but only a little. I'm confident I could run for another three hours or so if I paced myself and had water to drink along the way. But still, I think I'm getting out of shape. I pull open the neck of my shirt to let the breeze in. I've been using my school uniform as a work uniform at the cafe, so I'm wearing it now. Nobody will object if they see me on the school grounds. But even if they did, Kododama time. I head straight to the courtyard. I hope Hotaru is waiting, like I asked. As I open the door to the chapel, cool air rushes out. Although the chapel isn't air-conditioned, it stays relatively cool even in the summer. I look around for Hotaru. She's not here. I look high and low, but she's nowhere to be found. Damn it. Most people would be kind enough to wait for me, but Hotaru isn't most people. I try calling her phone again, but this time she refuses to pick up. No good. What now? If she's left the school grounds and gone home, then I'm out of luck. Wait, no I'm not. 
As long as I have my Kododama, I can force my way into any room in the hospital or Hotaru's house for even her or even her room. Which means that if she's trying to escape from me, she must be hiding somewhere she knows I wouldn't look. Which means... I guess I won't be able to see her today. I feel discouraged. But if she's somewhere nearby, there still might be a way to find her. I go back out into the courtyard and look around the area. There are three other students sitting on the grass, painting. They must be in the art club. There are probably some more students inside the school building as well, maybe a dozen or so in total. As I start, I approach the three nearby students. I'd like to ask you all a favor, it's a very important one. For the next 30 minutes, search the campus for Minazuki Hotaru. If you find her, come and tell me. It's for a good cause. All three of them nod, put down their brushes, and head off in different directions. I wasn't able to keep my Kododama so simple that they'd forget all about it afterward, but probably they won't think too hard about it when they vaguely remember that what they did was for a good cause. Maybe. Let's see who's in the building. There are probably a few teachers around as well, not just students. Together, they'll leave no stone unturned in my search for Hotoru. But is this a good idea? Is this just proving to her that our power is not being used responsibly. Or is it? I don't know. I ended up finding 14 more people for a total of 17. Now they're all out hunting for her. Huh. <sighs> I sit down on a bench in the courtyard and let out a big sigh. My body feels heavy. My pulse is rapid and my hands are shaking. Kododama overload? I've never used so many Kododamas on so many people in such a short time so I don't know what the effects of my body are going to be. I haven't had any trouble using one Kododama on a large number of people like in the classroom, but this time I spoke to each person separately and gave them more complex orders. Anyway, I need to take a rest. From where I'm sitting, I can see a bunch of students walking quickly back and forth between the different school buildings. I hope she's still somewhere on the school grounds at least. In half an hour, or if half an hour passes and she hasn't been found, I'll have to start another Hotaru hunt off campus and maybe the hospital for starters. After a little while, my phone rings. It's Hotaru. Hello? So you're still at school then? Yes, that was me. I look around, but I don't see her nearby. Will you tell me where you are? Aha, I see. She knew I might check her classroom, but correctly predicted I wouldn't think to search my own. Don't run away this time, okay? She hangs up. What am I going to do with her? I stand up and head back indoors. Thank goodness. I breathe a sigh of relief when I see her inside the classroom. Seeing me enter, she turns around and walks towards me. Konnichiwa. It's nice to see you, though it took some doing. She puts her hand in my cheek. Well, maybe it's because I ran all the way here from home. Wait, you know about her condition? Yeah, she did do that, and it's kind of our fault. Yeah, and today as well. Sorry, I'm trying to get a drink. In between the lines here, she withdraws her hand from my face and holds it to her chest. Her words alone say that she's back to her usual self, but there's no energy in her voice, and there are dark circles under her eyes. You're right. I'm worried about Azuki-san too, so I would be glad if you could tell me everything so I can do what I can to help you first. All I'm saying is you're both important to me. She's finally smiling, smiling a little, and I smile too in relief. So tell me, Hotaru, what happened? 
ひどく憂鬱なだけです。Wonder what her home lifestyle is like. Don't most people look forward to the weekends since they don't have to go to school or work? それはその通りですが。Sorry for being repetitive, but would you tell me what's wrong? 答えたくありません。嫌味ではなく、話してもどうにもならないことだから。It won't solve the problem, but maybe we can help solve the problem over time and all that. I see. I sit down on top of a nearby desk and sigh out loud. It's so inconvenient that my Kododama doesn't work on her. Then just complain out loud. <laughs> like I complained to you yesterday about my life, like you did to me for just a minute on the phone earlier. You can even pretend I'm not here. Just say whatever's on your mind, let it out. She looks around the room, not meeting my eyes. I doubt that she really has no desire to tell me anything at all. If that were the case, she wouldn't have picked up the phone when I first called her. On the phone, she said that it's easier to cope when she has someone to talk to, and that she would be tempted to take advantage of my kindness. Well, now's the time for her to do so, and I believe that she will. Because nobody can ever fully cut themselves off from other people. That is true. That is goddamn true. Like, I've, I've taken breaks from like social media, Discord, a little bit of everything, minus, you know, doing YouTube before. And, well, there's your minus. Like, I'm always having to be connected to people. I can't fully cut myself off. If I try to cut myself off from YouTube, well, I've got work, I've got my family, I've got friends. I can't just cut them off because, well, that's damaging my actual life at that point. In a way, Most people can't completely cut themselves off from human interaction. It's always there. And whether it's helpful or not, it just exists. And for good reason. Like I said, humans stem off of that socialization. Hotaru is still wavering. By the way, I, I could be talking out of my ass. I never took like any, uh, well, I don't know if anthropology is the right one. I don't know if linguistics is correct either, but, um, Yeah, I've never taken any classes that, like, backs that up. I can wait for as long as she needs. I'm used to the silence. I notice there are several students peeking into the classroom from the hallway. The Kododama was supposed to wear off after 30 minutes, but I guess they found us before that. I found Hotaru. Happily go back to whatever you were doing. Thanks. And at that, the students all leave smiling. Hotaru finally breaks the silence with a laugh. i n i k u d e s y o n e m a k o t o s a n no Kotodama ga Hotaru ni kiku nara, i r o i r o na koto o wasure sase te mora eru no ni. Mmm. i n i k u na no wa Hotaru ni Kotodama ga kike ba, koko ma de Makotosan ni me o kake te mora e na katta koto no ho ka. Now it's my turn to keep silent and her turn to talk. I should let her say what she wants to say in her own words. Makoto san ni wa kokoro ya Azuki san ga iru mon ne. Kazoku ga. Yes, they're both very dear to me. Moshi mo sonna daiji na futari o nokoshite. Ashita, jibun ga shinu te wakatta ra. Dou omoimasu? Die tomorrow. I'm surprised by her question. But it's something I've thought about once or twice before. If I had something important I needed to do, I'd make sure to get it done. But other than that, I just keep living as normal, I think. Huh? Now I'm even more surprised. Hotaru, are you dying? Do you have some kind of terminal illness? I sense the life returning to her voice, but maybe talking to me is cheering her up. What? What do you mean? This conversation is bouncing from topic to topic like a stone being skipped across a lake, and I can barely follow it. Hotaru keeps talking, paying no attention to my confusion.
眠ればまたその日のことを忘れるそういう人生言霊でなら再現できるでしょうね I probably could, but it seems pointless. 無意味で無価値で無駄な命 She has a far away look in her eyes I did tell her to grumble to her heart's content, but I really have no clue what she's saying. I rack my brain searching for a foothold. Is it、uh, something like amnesia? I've heard about that. No luck there. <sighs> she bows her head. For a moment, I think she might be bursting into tears, but that's not it. She's biting her lip in anger. <laughs> oh. Whoa, wait a minute. Come on, show those true colors. Hotaru trembles with a fierce but quiet rage. And yet to me, it seems like she's crying after all. Her cheeks are dry, but the words that fall slowly, disjointedly from her mouth seem like tears to me. Because although she's angry, I sense no malice in her. No, I mean, shoot your fucking shot out there, man. Go for it. But that's not good enough. I want you to smile today, too. She whirls around and stares at me. It's as if she just realized for the first time that I'm here in the room with her. I know I'm a pretty quiet person, so sometimes people forget I'm there. I thought I'd improved on that in the last few days, but maybe not. Uh, what? I'm he who speaks bane but a word, boon but a word. Though it's been some time since I thought of it, the familiar phrase automatically rises to my lips. At least that's what we were taught growing up, but who knows? I have to laugh. It means I'm a god who can cause or predict both good and bad things with a, with a single word, or grant wishes that are expressed as a single word, but I'm not very good at being a god like that. After all, I broke the rules of my village to come here. I don't even know how to use my Kotodama power effectively, and it's not like I really fit into human society either. So I guess I'd say I'm. I stop, not sure how to put it into words. Uh, sorry, I, I don't really know how to say it. Right. I think for a moment and then nod. I think you and I are the same. I'm a living being in the here and now, and so are you. In that sense, there's no difference between God and human. She holds her hands in front of her chest as if taking my words into her heart. Has it only been a week? God damn. She trails off as she gazes at me, misty eyed. I notice that she's been using the word I a lot today, much more than she usually does. But it doesn't seem like a good time to change the subject and ask her about it. Talking about fucking subject changes. Huh? No, not yet.、Uh, we haven't gone that far yet. How to change the subject even more abruptly than I was going to. I'm taken aback by her question, but even more so by her reaction to my answer. She smiles and comes one step closer. Hey, yo, wait a minute. Ayo? Ayo? She comes even closer, pressing against my chest. Her head turned to one side, she seems to be listening to my heartbeat. As I support her body weight, I'm surprised by the lightness of her small frame. Hotaru, do you mean. Holy shit, this is sudden even for me. What the fuck? I'm not ready for this emotionally and all that. Like, the, hold on a minute. We, we need like 30 more episodes before we even get to that. To,、oh. <laughs> Hotaru says that she wants me to hurt her, which probably means 
She's asking me to take her virginity, to make love to her right here and now. I can't imagine what logical reason she'd have for wanting me to hurt her. But wanting to make love, I can understand that. Everyone has times when they feel lonely and disheartened, yearning for the touch of another. Just like how Mana and I used to turn to each other for comfort back in the village. Well... As I hold her silently, Hotaru, look, or Hotaru looks up at me anxiously. It's not that, I'm just a little surprised. Don't worry, just leave it to me. Holy shit, we're actually going in all in on this. Despite my confident words, this is the first time I've had sex with anyone besides Mana, so my heart is racing. I've thought of Kokoro and Kyoko in a sexual way before, but when it comes to Hotaru, I don't feel emotionally prepared. My hands on her shoulders, I draw her to me. The lightness of her body continues to surprise me, yet excite me. No, I can't be nervous at a time like this. We can't very well do this standing up, so I lift her up from behind and set us both down on a nearby desk. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is actually going to be happening here. This is really going to fucking be happening. I don't think I could use that as the thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> I, I don't think I can use that. Otodu lets out a surprised yelp. Are you okay? Uh, so, fun fact, in the settings, and this is really cool, I like this, though it really doesn't change anything, it's actually just a really good uh, identifier. Uh, whenever the text box becomes completely, uh, what's the opposite of transparent? Opaque? Uh, you can't see through it, uh, so completely solid. Let's go with that. Um, that is a sign that we are in an H scene. This is really happening. This is about to happen. Which means, um, you know, the this is going to be cut out, by the way. That there's there's going to be a point where I will have to stop or or cut out a portion of this. And you guys know what portion that is going to be. Uh, but hey, Patreon link in the description below. Hotaru's adorable, bashful reactions are warming my heart. I'm just as happy as she is to take things in a sexual direction from here. Still, I find myself wanting to stay like this for a while longer. Oh, come on. That, ha that, that can be the thumbnail, right? Like, if I zoom in a little bit, like, you can't even tell that this is from a fucking age scene, right? I mean, come on. That, that smile, that face, it's Hotaru. Best girl. Like, already declaring it, like, ten episodes in or whatever. Clinging to my arm, she smiles ticklish ticklishly, excuse me. And you're so small and cute. I resist the urge to keep hugging her and instead begin to lightly stroke her stomach and shoulders over her clothes. <laughs> Oh, here we go, gamers. This is this is where things get demonetized. Hotaru whimpers softly. Feels good, doesn't it? I murmur into her ear as I continue stroking her body. No, we have to make it funny. I'm not just sliding my palm around. I'm tracing the curves and outlines of her body. I'm moving each finger separately and deliberately. Oh, this man is a fucking chad, ain't he? The places where people feel the most ticklish are where they're the most sensitive. They're the same places that can feel the most pleasure. So, so Hotaru exhales a warm breath. She really is sensitive. I never expected her to get so hot and bothered from a uh, simple light petting. She hasn't even undressed yet. I feel the urge to make her lose her composure even further. I begin to undress her. But... How do I take these off? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I feel it. I have no idea where to start. I remember, um... Ah, shit. What was it back in high school? It's like, if you can take off a, a girl's bra or whatever with one hand or some shit without looking, you know, behind the back or whatever. You were, you were the legend. Like, people would look up to you or whatever. 
Uh, but that wasn't actually the high school saying. That was like what we just read in books and movies and shit like that. Or what we saw in movies. And that's just like the... I don't know. what What's the word for it? That, that was just what we were like taught. That that's how it was back then or, or whatever. I could try to pull her shirt up over her head. But the collar of her uniform doesn't seem to be the right shape for that. She's got that big uh, anime head. Yeah, with a yukata, I could just pull apart the sides or unravel the sash. Ah, sorry, getting a drink. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. But hell if I know. Blushing, she points to her chest. I trail my hands over her clothes just as she instructs me. <laughs> and remember, if anybody accidentally walks into the classroom, Kododama is truly our best friend. The tie removed, I can now see the buttons hidden underneath. I unfasten them and open the front of her shirt wide. She's wearing a bra underneath, but I don't know how to remove it. So I just pull it up above her breasts. This is probably the cutoff point, by the way. I'm gonna miss you guys, truly. Okay. Okay, I think we're done with that. I'm pretty sure we're done with that. That ended off beautifully. Oh my gosh. Yep, okay. Everybody's dressed again. I'm sure the floor uh, and other people's desks are a disaster now, to be totally honest with you. Um, wow, I have never seen, uh, I've never seen CGs such as what I just witnessed that beautiful before. They were just so crafted, like, like visually it was eye candy in a way. It was, it was unlike anything I've ever seen before playing a game like this. I'm, I don't know, like I was, I was saying it, but I was actually kind of taken aback. I was kind of surprised. Um, they ended it off by, you know, kissing, uh, being appreciative of one another. They both said thank you to each other. I don't think anything else was said. I was kind of just zooming through it, but I think that is the main takeaway there. After setting her clothes straight again, she sighs softly. I feel pleasantly exhausted. My pelvis feels light after being so thoroughly unburdened of its load. Goddamn. The weak breeze from the air conditioner feels nice on my sweaty skin. <laughs> Hotaru winces as she looks down at her lower body. Are you okay? Does it hurt? I mean, it's what she fucking wanted. She wanted to be hurt. Since this was her first time, I'm concerned. <laughs> she throws me a sidelong look. Yes, I do. <laughs> まだ痛いというか痛みの位置の違和感の方が強いですね。Sorry。冗談ですよ。マコトさんが慣れていたみたいだから。一体いつ誰となれるほどしていたのかは気になりますけど。Oh yeah, I can't. Yeah, where's that explanation going to come from? No Koto Dama can get us out of this one quite literally. Well, uh, you know. She smiles. What is it? I saw I saw that coming. I did. What? I'm taken aback, but her smile doesn't fade. Well, no. But, but Hotaru, if you're willing, I could... Okay, this is the CG. This is the CG right here. This is it. Oh, I can feel the pain just looking at it. This is the, this is the thumbnail. This is the CG for the thumbnail. Unlike how Mana would seal my mouth with a Kododama, Hotaru seals it with a finger against my lips. But I don't want that. Come on. Okay, 
But I won't. I won't. I know what I saw. I know what I fucking witnessed. She laughs happily. I try to think of something to say, but she's already predicted everything I could have said. Excuse me, and headed me off. Is this really what you want? In the end, that's the one thing I really have to ask. Hey, I kind of doubt that, but her smile is still as radiant as ever. Were you now? You're not actually going to die, are you? What? She seems to finally be back to her usual self. There's no trace left of her depressed mood from earlier. So I feel like I can finally relax for a bit. Hmm. My mind wanders back a few minutes in time, and I recall the way Hotaru's body felt beneath my fingers. Tomorrow is when we start pretending there is nothing between us, right? But today isn't over yet. So what do you say we... I start to reach out to put my arm around her shoulders when suddenly my phone rings. Cock blocked again. Who dares to have such bad timing? Oh, it's Kokoro. Hotoru draws a finger across her mouth, signaling that she's going to stay silent while I'm on the phone. I pick it up. Hello? Kokoro's voice is surprisingly loud, and I move the phone a little away from my ear. It was so loud that even Hotoru seems to have heard it, and she looks surprised. Before I can respond, Kokoro continues. Uh, wh huh? No, game, no, we can't stop there. Oh, come on, oh, no, what the fuck? Oh, no, Michael, we can't stop there. <laughs> Sorry, gamers, the game faded to another scene, and that's my, uh, that's my cue to split. Yeah, I'm really out of time. Um, thank you all for watching this episode. Uh, I don't know how long this one's going to be. There's a chunk that's going to be missing from it, but that's okay. This was a uh, this was a bit of a surprising one. Thank you all for watching nonetheless. And um, I'm concerned for many reasons now. Uh, multiple concerns over Hotodu and quite a few now over Azuki-san. Um... Yeah, next episode is going to be one I'm looking forward to because I've got some fucking questions. I have a lot of concerns, a lot on my mind right now. This game really fucking pulls you in. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all the fancy stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.